Hi guys, today I'm going to do a lens review of the Sigma 70-200mm f2.8 sport lens. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this lens review I'm going to have a closer look at the Sigma 70-200mm f2.8 sport lens. Now because this is a Sigma lens it comes in a variety of different mounts. So it comes in the Sigma mount for Lumix, it also comes in the Nikon F mount and the mount that I've got today is the EF mount designed for Canon. So do that and bear that in mind that quite a few different camera brands can actually use this lens which is great. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing I want to look at is the actual build quality of this lens. And I must say, all of the new Sigma lenses have amazing build quality. This has got a magnesium and alloy construction, which means it is incredibly strong and great if you're planning on wanting a lens that has a lot of weather proofing. This lens has got waterproofing along 16 different elements, which means that it is really good if you're after a rugged lens that you can take in the great outdoors. So it is weather and dust resistant. It also has a non-removable lens collar, but what I really like about this particular build of lens is it's got an Arca Swiss built into the actual lens collar so you won't necessarily need to constantly fit a plate on it if you've got an Arca Swiss compatible ball head or gimbal head. So this lens also has got quite a few elements. Uh, it's got 15 elements in 12 groups, which means it's really good if you want to reduce the amount of lens flaring. Now it does mean that this lens is quite heavy. Uh, it's by far one of the heaviest lenses, but the build quality and the actual design of this lens, I really, really like. So that is a big thumbs up for that. So the next thing I want to talk about is the actual image quality of this lens. And I must say, I was blown away by the image quality. The colors represented within the lens, the, I must say the optical performance is amazing. And even the sharpness of this lens, this is by far one of the sharpest 70 to 200 mil lenses I have ever tested. And I have looked at the Canon 70 to 200 Mark II and Mark III, including the 2.8 and f4, and I've also looked at the Tamron lens, and this is by far my favorite lens for its optical quality. I also really like the roundness of the background blur and the bokeh, and this is due to the 11 bladed rounded aperture diaphragm, which means that the background blur, if you're planning on wanting to use this lens at 2.8, is incredibly smooth. Another thing I really liked about this lens, and it's a uh, 70 to 200 lenses really do suffer from this, is its vignetting and distortion. As you can see by the, the graph photos that I've got here, the actual distortion of this lens is quite low, although there is a, a small amount of pincushion distortion at 200 millimeters. But to be honest, I don't think you'd notice it unless you were shooting very harsh lines. So out of the out of all of the kind of 70 to 200 mil lenses I've looked at, the amount of distortion from this lens is a lot lower than other lenses including the very expensive Canon lens and even with when you're looking at the vignetting even if you turn off peripheral illumination on your camera you won't notice much vignetting even at 2.8 and you can completely remove all vignetting if you go ahead and shoot anything above f4 so this lens is a must-have if you're after an optically perfect lens either for wedding wildlife or even automotive photography so this is a must-have lens for anyone that's after an optically performing best 70 to 200 mil. So the next thing I want to talk about is the size and weight of this lens. And to be honest, this where this where this lens really does kind of let itself down in the size and weight front. This lens is by far one of the heaviest 70 to 200 mil lenses. It's also one of the largest, coming in at 1.8 kilos. And if we compare it to the Canon lens, the 70 to 200 Mark III, that comes in at just 1.4 kilos. So it's 400 grams heavier than the Canon lens. And already that was quite a heavy lens to start off with. And if we go and have a look at the Tamron 70 to 200 mil G2 lens, that again comes in at just 1.5 kilos. So you can see much heavier this lens in due to that magnesium and aluminium construction. This lens is also quite large. If we compare it to the Canon lens, you can see that it is a lot girthier and also a little bit taller, especially if you've got a larger lens hood. Uh, so the actual uh, the filter thread of this lens is 82 millimeters, 
where if you just compare it to the 72 that you get from the Canon lens and the 77 millimeter that you get from the Tamron lens. So if you are after a small lens that you can kind of chuck in your bag, this isn't necessarily ideal and I would probably recommend either the Tamron or Canon one for that. But if you're after a lens that your weight and size isn't an issue, then this lens will be perfect for you. So the next thing I wanna look at is the image stabilization and focus motor. And what's great about getting a 70 to 200 mm f2.8 is it both has a great autofocus, but it also has image stabilization, which is missing from a lot of the prime lenses if you were thinking of getting one around about this focal length. So because of this got image stabilization, you can actually shoot up to four stops of light darker while still having great image stabilization. It means you're less likely to get a blurry motion blur photo from holding the camera. So you can even drop it down to around about a 30th of a second and still get great sharp photos because of this image stabilization. It's actually got two modes. So mode one is for like general purpose photography. So if you are out and about just shooting handheld, but option two is better for wildlife and wedding photographers. So if you're planning on panning or tracking a subject that is moving, you could actually use option two to be more successful when it's in, in, using its image stabilization. So you're more likely to get a sharp photo in option two if you're either moving or tracking with a subject. So if you're, let's say, using your servo mode using autofocus. So if you're after a great lens for either portrait work, wedding work, or even doing any um, kind of events photography, or wildlife photography, then this lens is going to be perfect for you. And last but most importantly is the price. And again, this where this lens really does shine versus the competition. This lens is a lot cheaper than the Canon and Tamron lens. This lens comes in at just £1,179. Where if we go and have a look at the Canon lens, the 70 to 200 mil, that comes in at £2,149. So you can see this lens is almost half the price of the Canon lens, which is a major saving. And if we go and have a look at the Tamron 70-200 G2 lens, that comes in at just a little bit more at 1,249. This is by far one of the cheapest 70-200mm f2.8 zoom lenses on the market. Although it is a lot heavier, it does still have optimum optical performance. So if you're after an optically perfect lens, then this lens is going to be ideal. But if you are after a lighter lens that is more of an all-rounder, then I'd probably recommend maybe getting a second-hand Canon because the Canon brand new is way out of budget for most photographers. So what are my final thoughts on this lens? Well, to be honest, I think it is a cracking lens and it is a must have if you are any type of professional photographer and even pro amateur photographer, you're gonna get the most out of this lens because of the colors, the resolution, I really like the sharpness of this lens and also the incredibly smooth background blur. So if you're a portrait photographer, a wedding photographer, an events photographer, an automotive photographer, or to pretty much any type of photographer, this camera is definitely a deserving of a spot in your camera bag and this is why I have definitely got it on my purchase list for the future. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So there is my lens review of the Sigma 70 to 200 mm f 2.8 sport lens. And do bear that in mind that it does come in a variety of different mounts so you can see if this particular lens will fit with your particular brand. Again guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. But until next time guys, keep creating.